hey y'all i am back with another video today and i am doing my primer i did do my face off camera i did use a moisturizer and a serum before i started everything and i did my primer off uh blended my primer off off camera of course and i did go with the this beautiful palette that is called the queen i believe don't quote me on that um and i'm taking that brown and putting it up uh, my natural crease and then blowing it out on the very corner of my eye please don't forget to subscribe to my video and give me a thumbs up i would really really appreciate it and then once we're done stamping that on i do go in with the same palette and I use the two pink and purple shadows, more of a purplish color on those. And I put it on top of that brown and I do buff it out. Once again, you don't have to do the colors that I'm doing. You can use the colors that you want and just do the steps with me, which is going to be perfectly fine. It will turn out exactly if you do different colors. And then once we buff all that out, I do go in with my rainbow palette and I use that little tiny black that's right there and I put it in the very corner of my eye uh, and I do buff it out and I did do my other eye off camera just so I can save some time and you won't see the repeat of course because I mean it's the same thing. You don't really need to see that all that again. <laughs> but we do put it in the very corner of our eye and i do screw it all the way to the edge of my crease And once I was done with that, I did go back to my brown and I shaded, not shaded, uh, blended it out with that brown to give me a better smoky, not harsh line. Um, but I really did not succeed. This black right here with that palette is kind of hard to blend out. And I, this is my first time using it, so sorry about that. And then once we're done blending that out, I do go in with this brownish gold pink color on the middle of my lids. And I do um, blend it out with that black just so I won't have that little harsh crease at the end, of course. You can, you can do that or you don't have to do that. It all depends on what you like and what you don't like. I personally like blending it out and making it look more seamless um at once i finished with this shadow i did go back into the same palette and put a little light on my tear dock and brighten up that eye i did not show this on camera i totally forgot and skipped it i'm so sorry about that but you will see it here in a little bit and then once i was done with the eye seat here it is in the very corner of my eyes and my tear dock that's what I was talking about. And then we did go in with my Wet n Wild pencil liner for my eyebrows. Once again, you don't have to do this step if you don't want to or you're not comfortable doing your, your brows. It's totally fine. You can do whatever you want to do. It's just makeup. It's something that we play around with. We can always take it off and just have fun with it. And then once we were done with our eyebrows, I did go in with my foundation. And once again, you can do how you ever you want to do your foundation. There is no proper way to do it. You can do however you want and it's perfectly fine. And once we were done with that, I did go in with my concealer. And I did a new technique that I saw today. And I just did it on the very corner of my eye and the very top of my lids to lift up my face and give me more of a brightness 
this is just a new technique that I saw that I wanted to try so here we go hopefully it works I am with our hard candy translucent powder and I did do it under my eyes and on my nose on the forehead and on around the mouth just so I can have that brightness and not have harsh creases and then I went in with my contour and I contoured my cheeks the the nose the forehead and the jawline once again you don't have to do this step if you don't want to it is perfectly fine it will your makeup will look awesome no matter what you do and here we go with our blush you can use whatever blush you want it's perfectly fine i use this pink blush just because of my skin tone and i like it to pop a little bit more and then once we're done with that i did go in with my fenty beauty highlight palette that i got and i used the goldish uh, highlight and I put it on my cheeks and here is my liner that I'm gonna use and I am doing my signature look which is my wing liner once again you don't have to do the wing liner if you don't want if you're not very comfortable with it that is totally fine you do you of course And then once we're done with our liner, we're going to go in with my mascara and I'm going to do a couple coats, of course. And if you are wanting to do lashes, you are more than welcome to do lashes. I did not put lashes on this video just so I can have a little bit of a breather. And I did go in with my Ulta um, liner, which it's the gold. And it's almost out. You can tell, but I still love this product and I will get more. And for our last step, we do go in with our lips. I did choose a bright, a bold red. Once again, you can do whatever lippy you want and go from there. Once again, this is just makeup and we're just playing with it. We can always take it off and retry again. Please don't forget to subscribe to my video and give me a thumbs up. I do have two pictures at the end of this video. I hope you really like it and much love. Mwah.